Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. My late girlfriend's best friend, 29 female and I, 28 male, have been sleeping together. Now she's pregnant. I know people are going to call me stuff like a scumbag and an a-hole. Just want to at least ask to please hold off on it because I already do feel crappy. Lost my girlfriend over a year ago, a few months before COVID lockdown. She was living with a heart condition and needed a transplant. Didn't make it though, and it messed me up. Still messed up actually. This is my first time ever losing someone that I love. Me and her were together since we were 20. Her best friend forever since high school was there for all of it, and she always understood where I was at in grief. Then, COVID made it all even more isolating and depressing. We started chatting often to see how we were doing. Got closer. Pretty soon, we were doing movie nights and stuff. Either I came to her place or her mine. We just needed that comfort. We were helping each other with our grief, but also like we became better friends than we were before. One night, we got a high and had sex. It was my first time sleeping with someone else other than my girlfriend. We didn't talk for like three weeks, and then I felt like I missed her, so I reached out. We decided to pretend it didn't happen, but then next time we hung out, we ended up kissing. And then, that just led to sex on the couch. I don't know why, we just decided to not acknowledge what this means, only that it feels good and makes us happy. But continue doing it. It's going on four months since this happened, and she called me last night, freaking out because she hasn't had her period in a while, so I went to her place. I bought a few pregnancy tests, and they're all positive. She's going to the doctor this week, but she told me she's not sure she has it in her to abort, which means she'll keep the baby, and I'm not sure how to feel about it. She says I'm the only guy she's been sleeping with, but if I feel I need a paternity test to confirm, then she's fine with that. I don't really have any doubts. I know she's an honest person and wouldn't lie to me, but that means I'm going to be a dad. That means my late girlfriend's friends are going to know we've been sleeping together and no doubt her family will too. I've already been feeling guilty enough knowing that I'm sleeping with someone my girlfriend loved like a sister. Now there's going to be a baby involved in the mix. Then we haven't even had an actual talk about what we are because we didn't want to acknowledge what we've been doing. It's a whole mess with everything and it's like I can't focus on one thing at a time. It's freaking me out. I want to feel happy that I'm going to be a dad because I know I wanted kids at some point in the future. I always hoped it would have been with my girlfriend. I'm sad, guilty and confused to be honest. Not sure how I'm supposed to handle any of this right now on top of everything else. Is there really any right way to deal with this? Let's see how the community reacts. Hopeful Hopelessness says, To be honest, I don't find this that surprising. Sure, you could have waited to get together with someone a bit longer than a year, but you were going to eventually be with someone anyway. Why not with her best friend? Shania Twain fell in love with her ex-best friend's husband after she found out she was sleeping with her husband. He and her had something in common and comforted each other in a time of need. Developed feelings and then married each other. Do you really like this girl? If you're not using her just to fill a void in your heart, then I think everything will be okay. Of course, you will always love your girlfriend who's no longer here, but she would want you to be happy and love again. If she was looking down on you from above, do you think she'd be mad? If I died and my boyfriend and best friend forever got together, I think I'd be happy that the two people I loved the most were happy and in love. You both grieved for a year. It's okay. And who cares what people say? The OP's response, I've always liked her as a person. With how things started between us, I've been avoiding if those feelings have changed into something deeper so that I don't feel like I'm completely disrespecting my girlfriend's memory, to feel less guilty about what we're doing, I guess. So can't answer honestly if there are true romantic feelings or not. Gonna have to take some time on that and really process everything. Hopeful Hopelessness responds again, I would say, focus on being there for her throughout the pregnancy and continue to explore what a relationship between you two might look like. But also, I suggest seeing a therapist to help you process those feelings of guilt, because it won't be fair to her or the baby if you don't give as close to 100% as you can. The OP responds, I agree. Was seeing a therapist before when I first lost my girlfriend and then stopped a while before we started this thing together. So, think it's time to revisit again. Fork or Knife has another thought. Everything is going to be okay. It's perfectly okay to have feelings for her bestie or not. It's okay to want the baby and not want the baby. 
It's okay to tell people you guys were having sex to cope with the intimacy you've been missing out on since your deceased girlfriend's passing. And if they don't understand, it's fine to let them figure it out on their own or not. Bestie needs your support now. Before you start telling folks, talk with her about how you feel, how she feels, and how you see yourself supporting and co-parenting the child. You guys don't have to be in love, rush love, or have any feelings beyond platonic, but you're in one another's lives now, so you need to sort out the basics as soon as you can. You're going to be fine. She's going to be fine. If you need some help dealing with your grief, there are usually some group talk sessions through hospice providers you might be able to join for support. The OP responds, Thank you. I think I needed to hear this. Not just the advice, but the support if that makes sense. This isn't something I can tell anyone close in my life just yet. Definitely know I have to be there as a support, because this just turned into a whole bigger deal, and she's the one that's going to be carrying the baby. It's all overwhelming. Yeah, I was going to therapy before, but stopped. Maybe might have to start it again. Seriously though, thanks for this. And here's an update. Hasn't been that long, I know. Just some new developments. First, thank you everyone for your support and advice. I really appreciate it. We talked all day yesterday, and then today too, and it's been a lot in just a few days. She's decided she's keeping the baby, and I told her I want to be involved 100%. She has her first prenatal appointment tomorrow. She asked me if I wanted to come, and I said yes. Having time to actually sit down to process this part of me is weirdly excited. Initially, all I felt was panic, then thinking of the fact that there's a baby that's part of me in there, I don't know, it makes me feel happy. Gonna be involved, of course, if it gets more complicated with the fact that there's feelings between us. I've let my mind go there, thinking about all our past interactions even before the sex started how much I genuinely enjoyed her company, and how she is as a person, not just because she was my girlfriend's best friend, but just how she is as a friend and person in general. Didn't let my mind go there before, but I know now that there are deeper feelings that I wanted to ignore. I don't know if going in it was a smart move, but I decided to be open to her about it and confessed how I've been feeling. She's been on the same boat, except she knows her feelings for me are genuine. She's been talking about it to her therapist for a while but didn't want to say anything since we were sleeping together and didn't know if for me, it was just a physical thing. It was a super, super long talk, honestly. We didn't even notice how long our convo was. Definitely gonna get back into therapy just to make sure I'm at my healthiest mentally for the baby and get ready to be a parent. Then, to just deal with everything that's gonna come out from this. For now, we wanna take things very slow. Try a couple dates and see where things go. We're always gonna be in each other's lives regardless of what happens. We shared our first kiss. I mean, we've kissed many times before, but this is the first one since acknowledging what's going on. Then, today we had breakfast together. I feel happy and still guilty, like I don't deserve this. I hope therapy is able to help with it. Reached out to my old therapist I was seeing for grief counseling after I lost my girlfriend and got an appointment coming up soon. Let's go back to the community. Nona Organic kicks us off. Glad to hear you will be engaging in therapy. And hopefully, you will work through your guilt with your therapist because you have nothing to be guilty over. Really amazing you guys are exploring the possibility of being more than friends with benefits. Definitely move slow. And it's very sweet to hear your description of her. You're smitten. Congratulations on being an upcoming father. Rooting for you two. Wishing the very best. The OP writes back, This is the first time I'm really looking forward to the future. There's a lot of complicated emotions. Not to mention how everyone else is going to react when they find out about this, like our mutual friends who are also close to my girlfriend and family. But we've supported each other through everything else, so I'm glad we will have each other to lean on. And therapy, of course. Thank you. Even if it's from an internet stranger, the support is still very much felt. The Ghost Machine says, I know it's nowhere near as easy as some are making it sound but it is absolutely true that what other people think simply does not matter. Are they going to come comfort you on those nights that you feel painfully lonely? Are they going to sit around while you talk about all the weird, silly things your girlfriend did all the time? If they have a problem with the relationship, are they going to set their life aside and fill all the voids that have been ripped open inside you? No. If they have a problem with it, they'll point their finger, pass judgment, then go on with their lives. You can't do that. The life you thought you were going to have is gone. You deserve a chance to start a new one with someone else. And who better than someone who is probably very similar to your late girlfriend? It's easy to judge someone else when you are in a comfortable place in your own life. But it's just as easy to dismiss those judgments because they don't know what you're going through. 
Her parents have a little bit of a leg to stand on, but they have to be realistic and understand that this is just as difficult for you as it is for them, and you still have a life and need to be happy. If I had to guess, I'd say they aren't going to be an issue. If you had a good relationship with them, they'll want you to be happy and to have what's best for you. Good luck with everything. I can't imagine how I'd handle it if my wife died. I know I wouldn't even know where to begin with picking up the pieces. I'd be utterly lost if I didn't have her to give me some direction sometimes. I'm so sorry you're in this position, but on the bright side, being a dad is freaking awesome, and hopefully the relationship with the best friend forever turns out to be as good as with your late girlfriend, if not better. One more thought from Cinderella35. Hey OP, I think what I have to say will truly help. I lost my sister a little over a year ago to cancer. She was married and had two kids. A few months ago, my sisters and I found out our brother-in-law had a girlfriend who had been introduced to the kids and was already part of their lives. My parents already knew this and just hadn't shared yet with the rest of us. I don't know when he had started seeing this new woman, but it's more than likely it was less than a year after my sister's passing. It was a bit of a shock at first, but knowing my sister and how she was, she would want her husband to be happy and to find love again. My brother-in-law and his kids live in another state and we haven't seen them in a year, but I am anticipating going down to visit in the next week or so because of another family funeral on my husband's side. I know that as hard as it will be, I will invite my brother-in-law to bring his new girlfriend to meet us and that I will make every effort to be okay with this even though it is so hard. My advice to you would be to make a point of visiting your girlfriend's family and telling them in person. They may have a mixture of emotions, but you owe it to them to have them find out from you and not others that you are having a baby and with who. I truly believe it will be okay. Best of luck to you. <laughs>